Our group started and everything about um, all about ten over all well, over ten years ago. I was contacted by Land Conservation Department that I, they wanted me to come in and be on this group for uh, figuring out some problems that they had in the county which the Lake Association wanted to go and put bu mandatory buffer strips up to the county board but they shot it down they said we're gonna have to come up with a better solution we just can't mandate buffers around farmers fields so they, uh, our land conservation contacted me and four other farmers there's five of us along with the DNR uh, land conservation Lake Association people uh, fish and wildlife anybody to do with anything you know NRCS we sat down for almost a year monthly meetings trying to come up with a solution so I was on that and then meanwhile during that time there in the Pentonwell area up in the, up north they had a soil health meeting down and it was in the fall and uh, I went to it with another land, uh, lake association person to see what they're actually doing on these meetings these farm group meetings and able to see what they did so Ray Archuleta was up there at the time and I know he was really good at it so I went up and we were there the whole day for their conference. That's how I got our conferences kind of uh, set up after that conference, how they did it a full day in that. And uh, saw what they were doing up there and it made a lot of sense. So I came back here and after we were done, we had some solutions to the county, but we didn't have a, a continuation of our group or whatever. So I asked the county if they'd support, support me and if we get some farmers together and start up a group. So they were willing to do that. At that time, we had a county agent that helped us a lot. Uh, and with her help, we got a meeting together and I decided at that point that it's hard to get the farmers to know what we're going to do. So I decided we're going to start the meeting in February, put a, annual, put a meeting on, get Ray to come down and explain the whole concept of soil health and what's going to happen. And so we had a, got invitations out, got a lot of advertising, got some solicitation for funds. We got over $10,000 in, in funds to help us pay for this. And uh, we had almost 300 people there, which was really good. Showed up. I was hoping to get 50, but we had 50, you know, almost 300. So we explained our concept and what we were going to do and re explained soil health because it takes explanation. It's hard to do that to start up a group or even get farmers involved if they don't know what they're going to be involved with. So with this going on with Ray here and having this whole program, he explained it all out. And at the end of the meeting, I got up and said, okay, you know, I want to start this group up. They're just starting in Wisconsin. A few groups were going already. And I need your email address and name and we're going to start a group. So with that, got a group together and we just started in and uh, this is our fifth year already. It's our fifth conference. So we're meeting, our, we got a board of directors. We're a 501c3 and uh, we try to get at least four good events, five events a year that we can get the farmers to and participate because that's the way they understand and learn.